Hi, uh, short, uh, some tips on repairing these uh, hoverboard motors, uh, mostly the, the MOSFET bird. So you see in this case two of them and just uh, to simply tell you how, um, how you see a, a hoverboard motor works. So a motor brushes DC, it's always uh, th three coils. Uh, so it's these three big cables and each each coil um, the coil can flow in both directions and therefore you need this uh, H bridge or full uh, bridge so always two MOSFETs uh, um, are open so it's like connecting the plus with a minus or connecting the plus with this minus and then the fl current fl will, flow, will flow either way and uh, this uh, um, helps you to, um, to simply uh, test the MOSFETs, you see. Um, the, if you can, there can never be a shortcut between a drain and source, uh, even if plus and minus uh, have, sh have a shortcut, because there's always two MOSFETs in series that connect minus with plus. Therefore, you can always connect the plus, uh, uh, the, the drain with the source. And, and to see if it's a shortcut and that was the case here with, with these boards um, when you look at these uh, pins so one is gate uh, and the other is drain and source and so the one with the big with a big uh, um, currents uh, connected at the gate or either a source a drain or source and a, a pin that's only connected uh, for it like it with the digital pin with um, no big current that's a gate and so you can quickly find out and in this case uh, well I, there was a shortcut between drain and source and so these two MOSFET burned and that made a shortcut uh, to the battery. It did not really help me here because I, uh, I did simply unsolder it uh, to well then at least have a board with another one but then uh, when I connected it again to uh, 36 volts and <laughs> these uh, MOSFET burned and therefore uh, in this case, I think the gate voltage uh, is too much. So that's something like 36 volts uh, for the gate voltage. So um, if I would uh, now um, connect this board to 36 volts, then probably uh, gate voltage uh, would be uh, this and then this would burn. So uh, I simply choose to forget about this one. And then I uh, took my next board and uh, I was able to program it. This is not a STM, this is a GD, uh, GD um, uh, same or 103 I think, um, but it's okay, it's the same lay layout, but um, I, I can show you if I uh, no, uh, add it. Then the motor is uh, not really spinning um, uniformly, but um, sometimes it it, it goes now and then it, it doesn't and whereas the, the other um, side um, the motor is really uh, perfectly you see about here sometimes it, it runs and sometimes it doesn't and therefore uh, let's turn it off again there's another thing you can can see here huh? that's always um, two of the, uh, these, so in total it's six MOSFETs. Uh, so uh, that's uh, because um, this full bridge can, uh, half of them can already be used for, for the other one. But as you can see, um, um, uh, three of the six MOSFETs, uh, they have uh, uh, the, the source connected to plus and three of them have the, the gate, uh, the drain connected to minus. And so you can simply here uh, take a multimeter that's beeping. And so you see, uh, you go to minus and then you simply um, say, okay, it's maybe this uh, or, or that. And to see, ah, so this is uh, one more set that's connected to the minus. And uh, probably this one is again, and this one is again. And now you see all the, the other three, there is one pin that's connected to plus. So here you see, this is plus. Uh, and now, I don't know why this one is. But um, then the next one here is, is this plus. And this would be, uh, and you see here, there was a short beep. Uh, but then not. So this is the soldering here probably is, is, is wrong. And then I simply, uh, 
turn the thing on again. And now, now we have the pin. And I simply um, take the, the plus from here and put it to here. And then the motor is running fluently. Huh? And so I now will simply well first um, resolder this MOSFET and in worst case, like with this cable here, <laughs> just make, make a, a new a positive to this thing and then I guess this motor is going to be okay. See now it's working better because well, if you, but now you see it doesn't. Huh? And so that's really based, based on, on, on the thing uh, that you really can already test uh, a few things. To, to find uh, if a MOSFET is, is not working properly. properly. Uh, to unsolder, you, you simply take a, a plier and uh, cut uh, the, the outsides, and with the inside, you can pull while un uh, heating it. You can pull the middle pin with a broken MOSFET out, and then uh, take, take such a plier and unsolder uh, the, the other three. And I um, don't know the idea because these, these uh, are not really very, you cannot order them at AliExpress. Uh, but I guess uh, any MOSFET with uh, well, uh, 40, 50 volts, let's better say 50, 60 volts. And it's always an N-channel MOSFET uh, because N-channel is always far better than P-channel. And therefore, if any motor controller only use uh, and channel MOSFETs today. Uh, something like uh, 6 to 10 milliohm uh, the, the drain, so drain source uh, resistance. And uh, I don't know the, 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 the gate threshold, threshold voltage. So anything from 2 to 4 volt. But I guess I think these are driven with uh, up to 15 volt. And so um, should. Well, <laughs> Or you take another uh, broken and, and take the MOSFET from here. Uh, yeah, just again, as I said, uh, take a look at this picture uh, and then you can uh, get an idea. So you see the, the, gray, the, the gate is the ga and the drain and source uh, to, uh, was it this way? <laughs> yeah, bye bye.